Namibia, a country in southwest Africa, distinguished by the Namib Desert along its Atlantic coast. The country is home to diverse wildlife, including a significant cheetah population. The capital, Vintuk, and the coastal town, Sokopmunt, contain German colonial era buildings. This area is home to eight official languages. Namibia's largest economic sectors, mining, fishing, tourism, and agriculture are very closely related to its lands. However, this also involves challenges. In the case of agriculture, one of the major challenges is bush encroachment. Bush encroachment is defined as the invasion or thickening of aggressive, undesired woody species, resulting in an imbalance of the grass-bush ratio, a decrease in biodiversity, a decrease in carrying capacity, and associated economic losses. Bush infestation in Namibia affects about 26 to 30 million hectares. This is about 30% of the country's surface and has led to a 60% decline of commercial livestock over the last 40 years, causing losses to national economy. This is a phenomenon witnessed at my doorstep. Mari 500, a farm situated 80 kilometers south of Khobabis in the Maheke region, experiences bush encroachment. Because grass abundance is reduced, as a result of bush encroachment, there is a loss in grazing capacity. Because of this, fewer animals are kept per unit area, resulting in loss of food, milk, meat, and the loss of production. The resultant effects are that land planets, livestock numbers and production shrinks, ranches and nations become poorer. Other areas experience bush encroachment at a larger scale. These places are namely Epukiro, Grootfontein, Okaanya, Okakarara, Okonjatu, Otavi, Oshinene, Ochivarongo, Ocho, Tsumep, and even our capital, Vintuk. The pressure of woody plants is relieved by keeping mainly grazing livestock, such as cattle and sheep. The goats, which are our brothers, we keep too to control the woody plants. However, they are few to control these woody plants. Woody plants also cause an immense pressure on grass as they both compete for a limited water supply. Hydrologists have found that the encroucher bush has a devastating effect on Namibia's water resources, drastically decreasing water inflow into underground reservoirs. Regular hot fires, often lit by man, used to sweep across the landscape in early days, burned bush to timber. Nowadays, we fight fires with all our might, neutralizing our most potent enemies of bush in nature. Drivers of bush encroachment include heavy grazing pressure, change in fire frequency and intensity, raising atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations, climate change, expansion of cultivation, soil moisture stress and soil nutrient levels, herbivory and weakening of the grass stratum by drought. Bush encroachment is a serious problem in the environment, economy and for the livelihood of people. However, little is known. The overgrowth of bush can be managed 
through bush control. This means thinning of bush population by mechanical or manual removal, which is labor and cost intensive. Controlling bush encroachment is expensive and most farmers cannot afford bush clearing. Because of this, the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry through the Directorate of Forestry and the German Donor of Development Agency launched a country-wide debushing project. The primary aims were to improve the conditions and grazing capacity of the land by promoting bush control and add value to bush, thus encouraging its environmentally sensitive extraction. Bush control generates benefits for livestock production, but also positively affects groundwater recharge, has tourism opportunities, charcoal and firewood production, and electricity generation. Furthermore, ranch land restoration has been thought to increase agricultural productivity. Other benefits also include creation of businesses and employment opportunities and ecosystem services. All over, there are creative and inventive ideas being developed across Namibia, turning the problem into an opportunity. Namibia has done well at eradicating this issue. Also, it continues to fight against bush encroachment. <laughs>